Good morning, fish peoples. Let me show you something interesting here. On this freshwater tank, I have a Eheim Echo. It says National Geographic, just ignore that. And that Eheim Echo output is plumbed into this Aqua UV sterilizer. And the flow rate isn't very high on these Eheim Echoes, but this has a very small output. So it's kind of got a jet action going on there. What is interesting about this is that it is separating the protein. You see it all over the place. It's separating the protein from the fresh water, which is exactly how a protein skimmer works in salt water. Uh, I find that fascinating. I don't know what to do with this newfound the data because <laughs> I don't know how to turn this into a skimmer. But I just I think it's it's interesting that this little high pressure jet you can see it and hear it is enough energy to separate the protein from the fresh to water. Now some of you industrious young people out there should be able to make something out of this. They make. Protein skimmers for the fresh water. I've seen one. Uh, it's like seven feet tall. It costs like $2,000. It's for a pond. So you need a lot of energy and a lot of column height, I was told, to do this. But this is doing it in just a regular aquarium. So uh, I find that really interesting. I read that protein skimming was actually, was actually found this way, is that back in the day, a German guy had uh, his reef tank with an under gravel filter. That's what they had back then. And he noticed that protein was accumulating in, in the output tubes. Uh, so that's how it was discovered. Except for all the sea foam on the shore. That's the other way it should have been discovered. Anyway, I just thought that was fascinating. Don't know what to do with it, but someone might. See you later.